After you watch this video, you're gonna become an expert in all things Magic the Gathering. People will tremble at your feet every time you pull out your cards. After this video, nobody and I... Okay, to be honest, it takes a lot of time and effort to learn how to play Magic the Gathering and to be a master it takes even more time, but it's really worth it. And this is a very good way to start. So, let's start at the beginning. Magic the Gathering is a trading card game. Actually, it's the first one of its class and it continues to be the most played game in the world. And a gamer is called a planeswalker, which, let's admit it, it's pretty cool. The first thing you gotta see is the seven cards you draw. Take a moment to look at your lands. Because these are where you draw your power from. Your mana. And every card you play is going to need mana. For example, this card here. At the top corner you see a drop of blue. That means you need one blue land and two of any other color. And each card does something different. Take a time to read your cards. That way you can use them better. Now, we've played our lands and we have the power or the mana to play something tougher. For example, I played this sorcery that allows me to put two creatures onto the battlefield. At the bottom of the creature you see a 1 and a 1. That means it has one attack and one defense. Your objective is to diminish the life of your opponent. Everybody gets 20 points at first and you attack it, and if you make them reach zero, you win. Right now, he has nobody to defend him, so I'm gonna attack him with my goblins, taking one point of his life for each of my creatures. These are the basics, but it's a lot more to it than that, so keep practicing, and you'll get better. So it can take some time to learn how to play magic, and there are some good tutorials online, I'll even recommend some at the end of this video. But today, we're at Karka Comics, and we're going to talk to some real-life players. Once you learn all the mechanics, then you can start drafting. What Steven here recommends, and we should take his word for it since he owns the place, is just to download the app. It includes a tutorial you can take for free, way before you can spend in any money on cards. That way, you get experience. Once you've played on it a few times, just come to a draft where you get three booster packs for $12. You take one card and pass it until you build a 40 card deck that you play that day. That way you'll understand the basics of deck building before you buy $100 in things you don't really need. What would you recommend to someone who's starting to build their own deck? Okay, when you're building your deck, keep two things in mind. One how competitive it is, and two, how much you enjoy playing it. When you're trying to be competitive, that means you might not enjoy it as much because competitive decks are set in a, in a certain line, kind of like a rut. Usually when I come to uh, tournaments like this, it's usually to get, um, it's usually to get um, some value out of it, like new cards for me to work with or a new challenge uh, with the cards that I'm dealt with. But, um, when I, use, when I come here specifically, it's just to relax. Here it's extremely casual, extremely nice, and um, the worst you're gonna get is a, is a snide comment. Here at, at the game shop that I, that I go to, it's just it's a very small community of players. We come every week. It's not like a giant group of people where you don't know who you're gonna get. We come every week. It's a very consistent group of people that come here. So I like coming here for my friends. I uh, was my friends, they kept coming to these things and eventually I was like, I was just tired of them bailing on plans to play Magic, so I was like, fine, I'll just come with you. Um, I told them if like, they could build, like, help me make some goblin card thing, then I'd play with them and then they did, so I figured I'll stick around. And It's midnight, the Planeswalker meet here at Rock Game Shop because the new set, it's out. And we don't care about the time, we just want to play and we want it as fast as possible. Check them out. The game has different versions, and one includes multiplayer. This game can get very competitive and there are tournaments of all sizes. There are probably some in your hometown, so I'd recommend you go and check it out. Talk to some of the season champs and some of the newbies with the new deck. I bet you'll come out with new friends and great new cards to improve your deck. So my nerds, now it's time to bear into this new brave world. Come to a store and play. 
And remember, a good planeswalker doesn't have all the cards. They have the right cards and the wisdom to use them. I'm Maria Fernanda. Remember to subscribe. And whatever it is, you're not alone.